In this series of videos, I will go into further detail on my Kenico workflow. As I mentioned in my blog article, my Kenico design workflow, I always create a full HTML version of my site, at least a template of the home page and any inner page layouts with some dummy content. I do this so that I can go ahead and work out all of my layout and cross browser issues ahead of time and generate most of the graphics I'll need. I will also have this available to test any changes or develop any new pages I need. This is the site we'll be reporting into Kenico. These will be the first steps of taking this HTML site and porting our design into Kentico using the portal engine. At the end we will have our basic master page template, theme folder, and CSS in place. Our first step is to copy the image folder and JavaScript files from our HTML site into a folder which we will give the same name as our Kentico CSS files codename and place in the app themes folder of our Kentico in the Kentico directory. Next, I take the HTML code for the home page and reduce it to the elements needed by Kentico for my master te page template. Saving snippets I'll use to create our navigation, web part containers, and other elements later. I will import my CSS into Kentico Site Manager and sign it to our site. Here we are in CMS Site Manager to look at a template for comparison. As you can see it's a pretty sparse template format compared to the HTML format. To prepare my code for my Kendico template, I will trim a copy of the HTML file, saving some of the parts we cut out for later use, creating web part containers and HTML sections. I will save this new version with a different name, in this case, masterpage.html. This name is not crucial, this is just a holder for the code. I create a text file to hold snippets and call it snippets.txt. Here we have the final version of our HTML code for the template. I have commented the code liberally, noting future placement of uh, web part zones. And other notes on the page structure. Now on our CMS site manager we can go to the directory tree highlight master templates and then click new template. I'll give the template a display name and a code name and a description and click OK. I will then select portal page for the template type and click do not inherit any content and save. This will give us our layout tab. I'll go to the layout tab, choose use custom layout which uh, should be checked by default since I checked in don't, do not inherit any content and I paste my code into there and save. And here where I have the comments for my web part zones, I'll go ahead and put those in. And save and now I have my page code. Next we'll prepare the page and the get the CSS code into Kentico.